pick up a new release game for us from about 50% of the Australian retail price. Um, so you could walk into the store and pick up Duke Nukem Forever on 360, new and sealed for about $54. And if that doesn't excite you, I don't know what will. Anyway, that's not why we're here today. What we're going to do is run you through what we're going to be doing in the Rotunda and how you can win $500 worth of games and also, yeah, also a $300 Mad Cats Tournament Edition um, arcade stick for Street Fighter. Um, in our Street Fighter tournament. And also, right now, I've got one copy of Infamous 2 and one copy of L.A. Noire on 360 to give away right now, so. All right. So obviously, there's the website. You can check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. OK, so that's the difference. Why would you bother shopping with us? It's because we're a hell of a lot cheaper. We're in Australia. If you order online, you'll get your game within a day. If you come into the store, you can have a laugh with us and then go home with it. What we do is import it directly from overseas instead of using Australian distributors and suppliers. So it's just a hell of a lot cheaper to bring in, hell of a lot cheaper to sell to you guys. Obviously, they are all guaranteed to work on your Australian consoles. Some people seem to think because they're so cheap, they might be not legitimate copies or anything like that. I actually had a guy call me the other day asking if it was a joke because we have Battlefield 3 limited edition on PC up for pre-orders at $54. So that's what we do. We have new releases. We have a huge range of back catalogue titles. You know, all the old games, like, you know, Dead Space 1. Not, not old, old, but back catalogue stuff. You can still buy it new. You can still buy it completely as it was back in the day. If anyone calls the retail store and asks for Battletoads, I'll kill you. We do rare games and we do import titles as well. So all that Japanese stuff that you might not see anywhere else, we'll always have. Um, and new games at about 80% off Australian retail value. OK. So get excited about that. But today, we're doing a presentation. Who, who's ever wanted to work at their local video game store, by the way? OK. You want to know how? You want to know how to beat 99% of people immediately with it? Yeah, yeah. So come to our presentation, we'll explain how. In that presentation, you can win at least six new releases we'll be giving out there as well. So come down to R4 after we finish up. We're doing that. We also have a Facebook competition going on where you can win $200 worth of games just by jumping on our Facebook and following a few simple steps. All you have to do is post your fam favorite gaming moment to your Facebook status if you've got Facebook and tag our Facebook page in your status. And on Friday, when we come back here to Computer Games Boot Camp, we'll be awarding $200 worth of games to one lucky, lucky person. So the best gaming moment. It could be a, a video, picture, whatever you want. Straight after our presentation in R4, we're going to have a 360 Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition competition where you can win a Mad Cats Tournament Edition Round 2 fight stick worth about $269, as well as copies of the game. So come down there. One of those. Come down there and try your best. Um, whoever manages to win the most games, because it'll be a knockout-style tournament, will win, um, and you'll get given it on Friday. So that's, that's awesome. It's free to enter, so just come down and have fun with us. All right? So come down, listen to our presentation. We're giving away free games. Who doesn't like free games, right? OK. Who's got a 360 who hasn't played L.A. Noire yet? All right. <laughs> okay, can someone tell me who the director of Team Bondi is? An Australian. Other than an Australian, what's his name? What's his name? McNamara. Come up here. The answer was Brendan McNamara. Congratulations. You gotta head over there. Okay, you on track? First hands up, first hands up. PS3 gamers? Yes? Infamous 2? Okay, okay. Infamous 2. <laughs> We're going to go a bit different here. Can someone tell me how long the PlayStation Network was down for? Yeah, yeah. Just... We're going to go with the closest answer, and if someone can tell me why, if someone can tell me why as well, how long was the PS Network down for and why was it down? All right, Yoshi, Yoshi and Blue Girl are yelling the loudest. You want to have, let have them have a crack first? I'll walk slower so you've got a couple of seconds to concentrate. I think it was like 
I can't remember exactly how long. Oh, my voice sounds so cool. <laughs> um, I knew Does it? Does it really? <laughs> it was too long. Like, we were counting and then we just slowly got. I need, I need a That's number. That's not an answer. No, it came up for like one day. And then That's not an answer. Okay, I don't know. Um, about 23 next, days or something. Next, no, next, but it next. went. Not an answer. Next. Waving, waving arms guy. Check it, check it. Sorry, waving which one? Arms guy. Which one? Waving, check it, shirt guy. Waving arms guy. Shut Stand up. Stand up. Shh. Sorry, which one? That bloke with the water, the coke bottle, and the yay. <laughs> Don't disappoint me. If I walked all the way over, uh, three months. And was hacked by a guy in a laptop. That's still not even remotely oh. a correct answer. Three months. Nope. Three months is about right. Three months is about right. Yeah, it was hacked by a guy in a laptop. But that's not what he asked. Who? About Organ three months isn't an exact person. answer. Okay, I'll say three months. Okay, we'll come back. We'll do this thick guy in the front. This one here, or with yep. the beanie. It's giving everyone else time enough to Google, just saying. Come on, you've all got iPhones, right? 39 days. Is that correct? It was longer than... It Way was longer long. than... <laughs> you point him out. Standing up. Yeah, where Come were you on. when the PSN was down? Who hacked it? Uh, the PSN was down for around two and a half months. Uh, not an answer. It has to be like a stick with one. It's not about anything. It's it two months, three weeks. <laughs> yeah. uh, and um, it, it was hacked by some guy uh, in the intention of stealing credit card details and email addresses uh, for contact information. You can't prove that. How can you prove his intentions? Did you find evidence to say that that was what he was doing? <laughs> <laughs> Um, oh, that was what the, um, that's what uh, was reported. Well, you, right. you, you can only say it's doubt, you can't say it's lie, because you don't have the evidence to back it up. That's an L.A. Noir joke, no one got right, it, whatever, right. screw No, one more, one more answer, have you got a better answer? Christos, this better be good. Uh, five weeks, hacked by Anonymous, and it's got to do with the whole PSN was sending details out in plain text. Nah, they just blamed it on Anonymous. I'll pick, I'll pick, yeah. All right, stop, what? One more, one more answer. Okay. Come on, Jesus. It was about, well, about two months. So I'll say two months and it was hacked by Anonymous. And if I recall, it was because of the Linux stuff. Because they were moving to get Linux off of PS3, which was, it was breaking their code of conduct, but it was actually very good. But still, they moved it off. So Anonymous went, hey, screw you, we're going to hack you. Okay, out of all those answers, none of you are co exactly right, but out of the most correct was white, that guy, this that guy. guy. Yeah, that guy. Come, Come on, on, give me a round of applause. All right, the correct, the correct answer for the whole thing to come back up was about three months and a week. And the reason why I was hacked is um, it was by another organization, not by Anonymous. Anonymous got uh, Anonymous got in and broke some of the Anonymous broke some of the security um, because they were annoyed about the Linux thing and the whole GeoHots thing. But I didn't actually hack it. But they opened up other ways, so someone else came in and then stole everyone's credit card information. So that's actually what happened. I don't. All right. All right, all right. So, everyone, shh. Talk there. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Much better. Okay. Here we go. If you would like to find out how to get a job really quite easily and in a really simple way into a video game store or your local video game store or any retail store for that matter, we're experts. We're going to tell you exactly how and you've also got the chance to win New releases including uh, Fear 3, The Witcher 2, um, I think we've got Duke Nukem, couple of Crisis 2 as well. If you want to win those games, come down as well as find out how to get a job in a retail store. 
Straight afterwards, we're going to be having the Street Fighter tournament. If you're no good at Street Fighter, you might as well have a crack. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. Come down and play with us, and you can win a whole bunch of prizes as well. And two hundred dollars worth of games shipped to your house from DungeonCall.com.au. Uh, jump on our Facebook. The instructions are on the posters around, but you can ask me or Obi. Find the T-shirts on how to do it. It's really simple. But other than that, have a great day, guys, and thanks for coming. Give me a round of applause.